Hey, Dave, so question for you. If you could have yourself, like, designed into a Lego set, like, about you or in any, like, real or fictional place you wanted, like, where would you do it? How would you want to play as yourself? <laughs> like, what part of my life would be a Lego set? So, as of tomorrow, I'm officially back to work and no longer furloughed, so that was a nice little enjoyed time of free time that I will no longer have. I'm excited to get back to work, but I'll still miss some of the stuff that I've been able to do, you know? Of course, let me first say Happy Mother's Day to all mothers around the world, so I thought that I would share some stuff about mothers. And I just watched a Kurzgesagt video about like why we are alive as human beings. And it talked about the first single-celled organism to swallow another single-celled organism and go, you know what? I don't have to destroy you. I can protect you and help you survive and give you stuff to help me survive. That single-celled organism that suddenly became a multi-celled organism is the mother and ancestor of us all. So happy Mother's Day to that mother as well. But I have some great people in my life and great mothers in my life, whether they're my mother or not, but I've got a mother and a stepmother and a dad and a stepdad. Looks like ISO at 3200 is a little bit better for right now. I still like to ask my center question a lot to the people in my life, like what is the quality that is on the top of your totem pole or the center nested doll of your Mutrayoshka nested dolls that you feel you most need to protect and prioritize in yourself and other people. And think about how the best way to live by a value. I've been grateful to have the ability to receive it from others, but also have the ability to choose to live by it. Like how can you grow a value you want to live by unless you're grateful for it? There was this fortune I got recently years ago that says that gratitude is the greatest of all virtues and apparent to all others. I'm really grateful that I've had people in my life that have values that are very important to them like hope and perseverance and fun. Whether they're role models that are in my life or the role models that are kind of more I just learn from them because I haven't met them in real life as much. And I even have little catchphrases and stuff from the people that I know. Little sayings that have stuck with me for a long time. Like my mom talks about owning it all the time and agrees with the rule number six philosophy don't take yourself so goddamn seriously be grateful be humble be happy is one of my dads and a, and a bunch more of catchphrases that are inside jokes of family but also were part of core experiences that have happened to me over the past five years or over my past lifetime with as much change as happened to me my mom has this philosophy that she shared all the time with me it's sort of a catchphrase it's called own it and i've referenced to it a lot in my life in my writing and the journals and the opportunities i've taken and the mistakes i've made fully be seen and heard and take responsibility for the promises people make and the decision to accomplish something that's set out to be accomplished even if it fails being able to own it in the loudest moments and being able to own it in the quietest smallest moments their knowledge and their care i still carry it with me because i'm keeps me going i still remember this stuff gotta remain silly thoughtful and childlike which reminds me of your lego set have a great dave and i'll see you on thursday